Hello folks, it's Sinead here from Girl Rock Fibres. Um, I'd like to do a mini introduction to my new cowl pattern and give you a little bit of insight into um, how how you start developing a pattern and whether you know you think it's going to be a runner or uh, whether you think uh, possibly left on the shelf. Um, I became completely fascinated with this book, this beautiful book called Botanicum, illustrated by Katie Scott. And when you look at the algae section, there are so many exquisite looking um, patterns and shapes, and they, I think they lend themselves perfectly to knitwear designs. Now, this little fella here is a tiny fragment of a marine diatom that they've dated from about 1.2 billion years ago, which just blows my mind. Anyway, this little chap is called Bangiomorpha pubescens, and I I really liked the 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 patterns along there, and I thought, well, I'd try and recreate this in colour work. So, I got my little notebook out, and I started to sort of sketch them, and I, I tried a few of them, and this is what I came up with for the Mangiomorpha, and of course. I had a lovely time drawing all this out and then I realised that I produced a 32 stitch pattern repeat which was never going to fly. So after a little while, you know, a little while of thinking and, and thinking, well, you're going to have to give up on some of this pattern. You're going to have to sort of compress it and simplify it, but not lose its, its overall shape, I guess. Um, and so I plotted it out again on Excel and, and did it the long way round until somebody told me of a much better way of doing it. Very Dasper Hughes. And so it might be the right way up. And it came up with a design idea. Okay. So this is the second Sample. And if you have a look, uh, this is this is a repeating pattern, but it's a shifted repeat. So you knit a section of colour work, and then it's shifted on the next one and the next one. And I've separated these repeats with um, some some of the cell walls, I guess you'd call them. Um, you can alter the size of this cowl by having more or less stripes between the repeats or you can add more repeats. It's perfectly flexible that way. Um, the way it's knit is a provisional cast on, uh, knit in the round, so it's colour work in the round, so straightforward. Um, there are no single stitches so you're always doing two stitches at a time so it might be a good one to um, you know, practice your colour work knitting, especially if you're trying a uh, two-hand method or a new method to you. Uh, what else? Uh, the cowl itself is reversible, so I've got blue dominant on that side and yellow dominant on that side of the tube. And once you've finished knitting the tube, you graph the two ends together. Now the pattern um, has links, has video links for all of the techniques involved. So I'd say an adventurous beginner, or an intermediate knitter would be absolutely fine with this. Um, it is very cosy and I do a lot of swimming and a lot of beach walking and it's been really excellent for that. My samples are knitted in River Knit 7 four ply, uh, which is a Jacob yarn, which I love. So super squishy, um, very warm, ideal for colour work, produces really cohesive fabric. Um, you could also use Jameson and Smith's uh, jump weight or two ply jump weight or uh, Jameson spindrift would work fine. Any of those. Um, I think that's it. Um, this weekend is the Botanica Festival and I will debut the pattern tomorrow morning 
and it will be uh, priced at 50% off, so £2.25 uh, for the weekend only. Um, I hope you like it, and see you tomorrow. Bye.